one way running in barefoot like running shoes or minimalist running shoes can help you run more safely is that these shoes encourage positive changes to your stride mechanics, such as reducing overstriding, better knee flexion or knee bend at landing, higher step rate, reduced ground contact time duration of the foot, forfeit striking, all of these mechanical components all add up to lesser amounts of all around impact levels as compared with heel strike running in conventional running shoes, which have a very poor track record for preventing injury. Another reason though, minimalist running shoes may do a better job at reducing injury as compared with conventional running shoes is by improving the arches role in absorbing impact and contributing to landing stability. One reason for this is in minimalist running shoes, because these shoes are wide and anatomically and ergonomically complement the shape and function of the human foot, the arch is more mobile. It's not restricted in its capacity to bend, extend, compress, expand, and therefore contribute mechanically to safer and even maybe more efficient running. But in most conventional running shoes, which are notoriously narrow and very stiff, the engaging activity and mobility and therefore the function of the arch can be very restricted, which doesn't do any good for keeping the arch functionally strong and tolerant of heavy mileage. When the arch is more mobile when running, like it is in minimalist running shoes, there may be less forces acting across the foot and the leg because increased arch mobility during running has been shown to improve the shock absorbing characteristics of the arch. In fact, a 2014 study in the Journal of Athletic Training, which is linked down below this video in the description box, found that increased arch mobility during running reduced components of the vertical ground reaction force and loading rates, which in turn reduced the need for greater compliance at other lower extremity joints. What this all means is straining opposing forces when running were reducible by increased arch mobility and that there was less work and energy needed for the muscles to contribute to extra impact absorption than the runners with limited arch mobility of which the same study found that the runners with restricted arch mobility had limited arch compression which caused higher rates of impact which produced more vigorous compensatory mechanical responses of the lower leg to help absorb the pronounced impact during running. The researchers also found that restricted arch mobility when running made the arch very rigid, which strained more muscles in the lower leg because it increased torsion across the shins. So basically when arch mobility is restricted, which it usually is in stiff running shoes that are very narrow, the arch can no longer contribute to impact absorption efficiently because it has disrupted spatial ability to compress, bend, extend. But in minimalist running shoes, which provide a lot more range of motion for the arch, the arch has more functional engagement. And with that, the arch can also gain additional strength because the key in keeping not just the arch, but the feet functionally strong is with increasing the physical engagement in an ongoing capacity of the arch. Likewise, increased arch mobility when running may also help reduce the risk of shin splints because there may be less torsion acting across the shins when the arches are more functionally effective at absorbing shock and contributing to lower leg postural stability. So if you feel that you seem to be injury prone as a runner, narrow stiff running shoes and therefore restricted arch function isn't going to make the problem any better. Rather, when your arch is strong, your feet are also strong, your landing stability is strong, and when your landing stability is strong during running, your chances of injury decreases of which minimalist running shoes and obviously increased barefoot activity like barefoot running can certainly do more to speed the process of reducing your risk of injury, especially if you land with a forefoot strike, not a heel strike. And I've also posted in the description box a link to a video that I did showing what a proper forefoot strike landing looks like because some think that forefoot strike running is toe running. It's actually not. It's actually a much flatter foot placement at landing. So be sure to check that video out as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't already. We will stay more informed 
on the benefits of minimalist and barefoot running, as well as more informed on forefoot strike versus heel strike running. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.